Hello, and welcome to Spread the Wealth Institute. My name is Christine Holmes, and I'm going to be sharing with you today on tips on putting together a dream board. You might say, uh, putting together a dream board, I don't have a clue. Well, it can be really fun. It can be creative. And the first thing you want to do is think about what you want to accomplish. What is your dream? Many times I find that people don't know how to dream. And so, first of all, I want to license you to dream. And so with that, you want to think about what you want to accomplish in terms of a vision. What is your vision? Or I can even go back into some basic things and ask you, what is your desire? What do you desire to accomplish in life? What do you desire to uh, do? What's the thing that you love doing? And you can think about a hobby that you have or an organization that you help, a charity that you are part of, and something that you really enjoy doing. Over the years, um, I found that this can be a really difficult task for some people, but it's really easy if you just think about the things that you really enjoy doing. Think about your passions. And Think about things that you want to achieve to help others. And that's always a great starting point. And so with that, when you're putting together that dream board, you want to have elements inside of that dream board that are really going to connect you to your future, connect you to those things that you want to achieve. And so you may um, look at magazines and you may get some ideas in terms of uh, pulling together some things. You may even find some quotes um, that are just right on and really resonate with you and um, connect to you that you can put on your dream board. Um, it can be uh, just so wide and varied. Um, there is no set rule in terms of you putting together that dream board. The main thing is that um, it needs to be something that um, is going to be beneficial, going to help you, it's going to be a positive thing, going to help you to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. Um, I started putting dream boards together uh, years ago. Um, for a number of years, I lived in Southeast Asia. And when I came back, I really needed uh, to have a dream. <laughs> I was uh, transitioning financially. I was transitioning um, in a lot of different ways. Spiritually, I was transitioning um, from the type of life that I had lived there to really um, uh, living in another city, in a new city. Um, doing a pioneer work in a new city and so it was quite different and so um, what I will say is this uh, keep it fun one of the things that I included in my dream board in the beginning was houses because that housing was important for me at that time as I was transitioning moving into uh, back into my hometown but I hadn't lived here in 16 years and so it was a huge transition and so in that transition, um, there were some things uh, that I went through. And um, my dream board really, um, from the time that I created that dream board, it made things a whole lot easier. And it was like, a, like stepping stones almost. Um, as I would look at that dream board, it would help me to connect to my next step and my next step and my next step. And... Um, People that know me and people that know those dream boards that I created are, are living uh, testimonies today um, uh, or living witnesses, I should say, today of what was achieved as a result of um, uh, believing. And um, those dream boards were tools. They were um, so much a part of my believing. And so... Um, one of the things that I did was I put uh, pictures on my dream board um, of things that I wanted in my future in terms of housing. Um, I didn't have housing at the time. I, I had housing. I was actually living with a relative and um, I was living um, there temporarily. 
because my goal was to have my own. And so um, I was living in a basement, makeshift basement apartment, okay? And um, that's another story altogether, let me tell you. <laughs> but I will say that that dream board kept hope alive for me. And, um, and literally, the pictures that I posted, I, I know... It's not coincidental that when I did move into my first place, and people will tell you this who saw that dream board, um, that the inside of my first place looked exactly um, like one of the pictures on my dream board. And I didn't plan that. It was just the way it happened. There's something about the power of being able to see an image, and um, it's the way God built us. You know, if I say apple, what do you see? You don't see a giraffe. You see an apple. If I say orange, you see an orange um, because those are images um, that are on the inside of you. And um, when we connect with an image, there is something on the inside of us that connects with it as well. Um, and so um, these images that I had um, became reality. And, um, you know, one day um, I'm praying that I'm going to write a book on that and the power of image um, because it's so powerful. If people can really get a hold of that, if you can get the image on the inside, um, that's pretty much it, <laughs> okay? Um, and I can say a lot about that, but that's a whole other topic. But I just want to say this, um, just for this um, first little uh, clip it on uh, putting together a dream board. Uh, really think about what you want in your future. Um, and don't think about impossibilities, okay? Don't just rule that out from the beginning, okay? Or you might as well not even do the dream board because um, it's also um, about stretching yourself and it's also about um, having faith and believing God uh, to bring to pass. You know, it's a, it's a visualization tool that helps you to see, uh, see the end result. Just like God said to Abraham, look at the stars. He said, look at the stars, because as many stars as you can see, that's how your descendants are going to be. He said this to a man that had had no children and was like 90 plus years old. And so he was giving him an object lesson. He was giving him something that he could um, lay hold to in the physical realm, something that he could see so that he could release his faith toward that in terms of what he was believing God for and in terms of his seed. And so... Um, Ooh, there's a whole lot to say about that. I tell you, I get really excited when I talk about that because it's so powerful. If you really get it, get the concept, if you get a hold of that, I tell you, um, if you can believe it, if you can not just believe it, but if you can see it in your spirit with your spirit's eye, the eye of the spirit, and if you can lay hold to it in your heart, amen. Oh, um, then half the, the journey is over. Um, but being able to see it is so powerful and so important. So with that, I'm going to close out and I'm going to say um, happy dream boarding. Happy putting together that dream board. And I'll be back with some more tips uh, a little bit later. But I just want to encourage you to get started. Uh, take the first step. Grab your pictures. Put them together. Um, you know, pray about it if you feel like you need to do that. Um, but just have fun. I think you just have fun, you know, make it a project. If you have kids, gather your kids, you know, make it a project for the family or make it a project for yourself. Um, you could be a single mom and want to have a business of your own. You could be, I don't know, uh, a number of, of different people out there. But I just say, I challenge you to do it. I challenge you to put feet to your faith and begin to move toward your dream. All right. So with that, happy dream boarding. Talk to you soon. Again, this is Christine from Spread the Wealth Institute.